What do we have here? Uh, got some old pistols here. Sweet. Were these like a judge's pistol? What's the mallet for? It's not a gavel for a judge. Order in the court. Order in the court. Oh, you don't want to listen? I'll make you listen. <laughs> Coming down to the pawn shop to try to sell some dueling pistols that I have. I don't know the history behind them. The reason I'm selling them, I don't collect guns, and I really could use the money today. I'd hope to get about a thousand dollars for them, but the minimum I take is probably four or five hundred dollars. Where in the world did you get these? My mom had a, uh, a blanket chest from my grandfather that was wrapped up in a blanket in those in the bottom of it. You'd be badass if you had those on your hip. Well, first off, you wouldn't wear these on your hip. They started wearing guns on their hip when there were six shots. This was more or less one shot and toss it. But I don't think they're for dueling because they're percussion cap, which means they're probably made after the 1830s. You would take a cap, you would put it on there, pull the hammer back, and bam, it would shoot fire through the hole and let everything on fire inside the barrel. For hundreds of years, dueling was considered an honorable way for two gentlemen to settle their differences. But by the time these were made after 1830, dueling had become completely out of fashion. They're beautiful guns. I mean, the engraving is really, really nice. The woodwork is beautiful. The design on the barrels, I can tell these are old. Um, 1830 to 1870, that's what I can tell you. If they were an American gun, I'd know about them. These are maybe German or French. I mean, it, they're European anyway. Right. These pistols are in amazing shape. They appear to be in the original case with all the original accessories. But I just don't know enough about them to make an offer. What do you want to do with this? Well, I like to sell them. OK. What were you looking to get out of them? Well, they look pretty nice. I was looking about 1,000. OK. I think we might be able to do more than 1,000. OK. okay? Well, I don't know nothing about uh, it. So. <laughs> you know, I could pay you the 1,000 bucks. I just feel bad about it. I know they're worth a lot more than that. How much more, I don't know. So let's have someone look at them. We'll get a price, and we'll figure it out. Does that sound good to you? Sounds great. All right. I'm really eager to hear what the expert has to say about the pistols, because it could be worth more than 1,000. This is it. Oh, cool. My name is Sean Rich. I own Tortuga Trading Incorporated, and I specialize in antique arms and armor. So what are your concerns, Rick? You know, what are they worth? What exactly are they? Well, the first thing is that people, when they say, well, here's a pair of pistols in a box, they assume dueling pistols. It's not to say that these couldn't be used in a duel, but these were more target pistols. OK. The dueling pistols, the majority of them were smoothbore, where the ball can just kind of wave and go all over the place. These have rifled barrels, OK? That means that the ball is going to spin, keeping it a tighter pattern. The accuracy is greatly improved. And these date to about 1840, 1850. The maker I'm not familiar with. Just the form tells me that these are either Belgian or from France. And the mallets for taking it apart, right? Um, actually, when you were loading these things, if you really wanted to create a lot of breech pressure, you'd use that mallet and tap the end. I've seen this type of pistols before, but they are scarce. You know, who knows how many of these things have survived over the past hundred years? You know, guys, these are in such nice condition. I bet you these things could be fired right now. Yeah, I'd like to take Corey to the range and show him what's up. <laughs> you mean have a duel with him? Exactly. That could be arranged. So what does something like this go for? Because this is in such nice condition and complete, you're going to see these probably in that five to 8,000 range. They're hard to find. Thanks, Sean. Absolutely. I was really happy to see the condition of these guns. These were really exceptional. All right, so hearing all that, you still want 1,000 bucks? No, I'll take a little more. <laughs> 2,500 bucks? I'd like to have at least seven. You're crazy. He's in between five and eight. Yeah. Yeah. Well, eight was on the high side, so I'll, I'll go no, with No, no, no. That's what it might bring in an auction. OK. Now, I'll tell you what. I'll go three grand. And that is the top dollar I'm going to offer. I have to make some money. You couldn't go four. No, 3000 It's a fair offer. I, I don't know if this is going to be here a week. I don't know if it's going to be here two years. OK. I'll take it, 3000 All right, 3000 bucks. Chum, go write them up. I'm happy with the deal of $3,000. That was three times what I wanted. It gives me a little money in my pocket to go spend and have fun.